Hi, yeah, I'm well aware that I haven't posted a video in a month, but like, who even cares, right? Nobody's keeping track of my channel. We're not there yet. We're not exactly there yet. If you guys don't know, hi, my name is Andy. I'm a student at UTRGV. I study mass communication with a focus in broadcast and marketing. Wow, I've said that so many times in my life that it just kind of flows out. Anyways, this week I want to show you guys what it's like being a university student online, more specifically at UTRGV. Um, this is sort of how my week goes all the time. Some updates on my last video. I don't have the coronavirus anymore because I'm built different, I guess. I'm just I'm just different and neither does my family anymore. My dog is still dead. He's buried somewhere over there. Yeah. He was not built different. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Also, job update. So, all summer I was like, eh, it's fine if I don't find an internship because I still have a job to go to when classes start and that wasn't the case at all. I was actually fired or no, not fired. Uh, according to them, I quit. And then nobody let me know until like two weeks before actual classes started. But yeah, <laughs> that's it. Listen, not having a job and being broke during a pandemic and while the world is ending is not a problem, but being broke during a new Taylor Swift era is completely a problem for me. Oh yeah, I also don't have enough dedication to actually dye my hair, but I figured I should cut it in like a way that I've never had it before. So I kind of decided to go for like this little mullet phase that I'm trying to go through right now. I feel like it looked better when I first cut it because like it was very like shaven off here. Oh my god, my neighbor's looking at me and he's cutting the grass up. So I should probably wrap this up. So, but yeah, let's just see what this week turns out to be and hopefully it's not too boring. <laughs> so it's still Monday, it's, oh fuck, it's 6.30. So I have a Zoom meeting to go to right now. So I'm taking an event marketing class this semester and God bless this professor, she hasn't posted a single thing for us to do in the three weeks that school has started. Um, I'm not complaining, but right now I have to attend this meeting where she's gonna have some guest speaker talk about event marketing life, I guess, I don't know. Everybody unmutes your phone and your computer, so everyone unmute. Okay, so that class presentation thing just ended. So this is an event marketing class and I've taken this professor before. I took her last semester in the spring uh, for music marketing, I think. So this professor is the marketing director for the city and uh, one of the events, one of the big events that the city does is like this concert where they bring out all the, all the local bands and artists and stuff like that. So the major project that we were supposed to do last semester for that music marketing class was to find a local artist, basically manage them and have them headline at that concert. And I was really bummed out that we really didn't get to do that. We had to like sort of switch everything like full 180 and make it online and of course this was like COVID was still new, shit was barely going down, and none of us really knew what was going on. And now for this class, you host like an entire event like at the local stadium, like at the local soccer stadium, stuff like that. And basically we're gonna be doing that too, but I guess we just sort of have to adapt. I mean, I can only look forward to it. Hopefully it's a lot more organized now that things, that people sort of know what's going on more and we could just get the ball rolling. Anyways, I'm like starving and I'm gonna go eat dinner. Dinner was so good, I'm so like happy to live like at home. I have a mom that makes me food and I'm not gonna apologize for that. So anyways, I'm sitting here in bed after I ate dinner and I get a text from my friend Jaylin. She's an artist at UH. Go follow her Instagram. She, like her art is bomb.com.org.uk. Um, she sent me this text. She was like, hey friend, this song reminded me of you. And it's like the cutest song ever. I love it. I've never heard it before. I've never heard this artist. It's called Bike Rides by Human Petting Zoo. I shake my It's giving me like Juno soundtrack, which I like. Um, oh, I'm so happy. Hi, Jalen. <laughs> so it's three in the morning now. I didn't do anything the rest of the night besides uh, study and jot down notes because I'm being honest with you guys, I'm like pretty behind <laughs> on my classes right now. Everything just sort of feels like optional at this point. Anyways, I thought I'd end today here. Um, tomorrow's gonna be busy. I have class at 9.30 in the morning. But I don't know, I'll see you guys in a few hours when I wake up for class. <laughs>
that's the story telling itself. So my class just ended, more on that later. I think right now I wanna show you guys like my little setup that I do for my Zoom classes. So what I have is obviously my webcam there and then I have this blue microphone that I just bought a long time ago when I was taking some of my other broadcast classes that required a mic and I just decided it was a good investment. But the main purpose that I use is and why I'm so extra like in my Zoom classes is because my fan makes like this clicky noise and sometimes I don't wanna turn it off uh, because my room gets hot sometimes so uh, this prevents from that noise from coming through when a teacher asks a question or something like that and then I just have my hard drive when there's no like direct sunlight coming in to my room for example right now because it got cloudy I usually put my ring light on or I turn on my ring light because obviously I want the lighting I don't know why oh yeah I do know why because the light in my room is ugly I don't like the lighting Let's talk about MassCom. So I never really considered myself a journalism student. But I think it's because MassCom is sort of like a broad major. You could do PR, advertising, etc, etc. It's not solely restricted on the journalism aspect. I think for me, like, choosing to focus on broadcast media uh, was like the perfect medium for me because, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm not like the best writer. But I like to consider myself more tech savvy, like in the background maybe producing, but even now as a senior, having taken those classes, like, producing is a lot harder <laughs> than I thought it was. So the class that I just took right now was specialized reporting. I was not supposed to take this class, I think this is an actual, like, journalism, journalism class. And as a broadcast major, I, like, write stories that are only about a minute or two long. Um, yeah, I'm not used to, like, writing, like, these <laughs> long stories and expanding and adding detail a little bit. But I'm working on it. But yeah, this professor is great. I kind of regret not taking any of his classes earlier on. I like when a professor teaches with enthusiasm and you can tell that they're really passionate about what they're doing. Despite the fact that this class is in the morning and I have to get up or whatever, I actually fairly enjoy it. I like getting up in the morning. Like personally, personally, I know a lot of people would disagree. I kind of like having a teacher like speak live. But yeah, that was basically my morning. I think now I'm gonna head over to my boyfriend's house and I think we're gonna have like a little study date because we both have so much shit to get done. Anyways, I'm back home now. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier or not, but I'm in a fraternity and this week is fraternity rush for us. If you know anything about rushing in Greek life, then you know like how busy it is. But basically the event we had tonight was just an informational night and that was just like for PMs to know more about our fraternity. But yeah, I did that and now since I'm back home, I'm gonna eat some dinner that my mom made. My mom made pozole today and I, if you don't know what that is, then I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, I guess I'll go chocolate and tostada because I be doing that shit sometimes. I'll see you guys before the day ends. It's 12.32 a.m. and I just woke up from a nap. I had a Blackboard discussion post due at 11.59 and I just didn't do it. I just didn't, I just didn't do it. <laughs> we'll be fine. Oh god, I'm gonna go shower now. Fuck this. Good morning, it's 1 p.m. Today I'm doing absolutely nothing but catching up on work. That is all I will be doing today because like I keep saying, I am so behind on my classes right now. It's not even funny anymore and everything's just sort of piling up at the moment. If there's any updates, then I'll let you guys know. But if not, cue the montage studying clips. All right, so I decided to take a break from studying because I want to go to the dollar store just to go to the dollar store I don't know. I need to get out of the house for at least like a couple of minutes The dollar store is only like a few minutes away anyways I only have a DSLR camera. I don't have like a small like vlogging camera I don't have like the Sony G7X or whatever. Yeah, I'm not about to take my DSLR uh, Everywhere with me like I'm not fucking Casey Neistat <laughs> Okay, I'm back from the store and I'm back in my house and I ended up just going to Walmart because I figured that I needed some stuff, some very important stuff like a Lunchables. I was craving a Lunchables pizza like so bad last night. Also needed some more cold brew packs. This is kind of how I make my iced coffee. Now I'm gonna go back to study. Actually, Taylor's gonna perform at the Country Music Awards later and I need to watch that because she's in a debut Betty. I fucking love that song, my fucking jam. Me too. 
Yes, bitch, seeing that country bullshit. All right, so it's now 2 a.m. I've caught up with most of my classes already. I did two out of three assignments that are due tomorrow, but I think I'm gonna stop there for tonight because I still need a shower. I'm thinking about just stopping this whole vlog like tomorrow or Friday, cause ain't shit going on guys. Like all I do is fucking study at home. So I kind of regret not vlogging more of my college experience when I was actually on campus because I did like the absolute most when I was on campus. I was highly involved with everything and because of the job I had then, like I had to be on campus like literally all day. And I think I would look at my Apple Watch and I would walk like about maybe like around like five miles every day. Whatever. See you guys in a few hours when I wake up for class. Um, it's probably gonna be like the same thing as Tuesday. So we'll see. I'll see you guys later. Then began the second section. I know that's difficult and technical to understand, but follow me here. It's gonna help you as you edit your story to make sure that you have flow. Yeah, so uh, Thursday sucked. I mean, it like actually sucked. That's why I'm doing a voiceover, let me explain. If you know anything about Thursdays for college students, at least in my experience anyway, is that you either have your assignments due on a Thursday night or on a Sunday night, and this week it just happened to be not Thursday night, so I just, yeah. I actually did film a proper outro on Thursday, but I look like this. Today is just one of those days, man, like because I was trying to do like these heatless overnight curls that I saw on TikTok and uh, I just, no, it just didn't work out. So here we are in the voiceover. It's Sunday night and I am i didn't vlog the rest of the week because I was like living in the moment, you know? Like I wasn't gonna like record. I'm just lazy, bro. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe if you haven't though.